many people including muslims and non muslims they think jihad is any war fought by any muslim whether it be for any reason whether it be for land whether it be for language whether it be for power whether it be for money jihad it basically means to strive it means to struggle and in islamic context jihad also means to strive and struggle against oppression jihad also means to strive and struggle against one's own evil inclination jihad also means to strive and struggle to make the society better jihad also means to strive and struggle in self defense in the battlefield so jihad basically means to strive it means to struggle for example if a student is striving and struggling to pass an examination in arabic we would say that he is doing jihad and many people have a misconception that jihad can only be done by muslims there are no less than two different verses in the glorious quran which talk about jihad being done by non muslims allah subhanahu wa taala says in the glorious quran in surah luqman chapter number 31 verse number 14 wa wasaina al insana bi walidayhi and we have enjoined upon man to be kind to his parents his mother bore him with travail upon travail and his weaning is in 2 years the next verse of surah al-luqman ayat number 31 verse number 15 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that if the parents they do jihad strive and struggle to make you worship others besides allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then do not obey them but yet live with them with love and compassion and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also repeats a similar message in surah al-ankabut chapter number 29 Verse number eight: That if the parents they do jihad, strive and struggle to make you worship others besides Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, then do not obey them, but yet live with them with love and compassion. So here, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is talking about non-Muslim parents who are doing jihad, striving and struggling to make their children worship others besides Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. This type of jihad, it is jihad fi sabil shaitan, jihad in the way or the path of the Satan. What we Muslims should do is jihad fi sabil Allah, jihad in the way of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. But normally, when the term jihad is used, it is taken for granted that it is jihad fi sabil Allah unless specified. So jihad basically means to strive and to struggle. For example, striving and struggle against one's own evil inclination, striving and struggling against oppression. One type of jihad is qital, that is fighting in the way of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. But jihad does not basically mean a war. Jihad basically means to strive. It means to struggle. Many non-Muslims, including many so-called Muslim scholars in inverted commas, they translate this word jihad as holy war. Nowhere is this word holy war present in the glorious Quran or in the authentic hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad. May peace and blessings be upon him. This word "holy war" in Arabic it is "harb muqaddasa." Nowhere is this word "harb muqaddasa" present in the glorious Quran or in any authentic hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad. May peace and blessings be upon him. This word "holy war" it was first used to describe the Christian crusaders, the crusades who spread Christianity at the point of the sword. So jihad does not basically mean a war. Jihad basically means to strive and struggle.